Hey everyone, Meg here with I Teach Stamping. Let's make a card. So we're gonna start by stamping our sentiment in real red ink. This is from the Sending Love Bundle. And then we're gonna do a lot of die cutting. So we've got a border die on here, some hearts, our mailbox, an envelope, all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll have all of our pieces whenever we're done with that. And on the mailbox and the envelope, it's gonna have both cut lines and score lines. So once we get everything all separated out, then we're gonna fold on these, on those score lines, use a bone folder, get a nice crisp edge on both of those. So the envelope, we're not gonna seal it shut, just on this little flap here, we'll add some glue here in a bit. We're just gonna seal it, and it's gonna be hollow on the inside. And that's gonna be important for this card. Then on our envelope, we'll go around all four edges using our bone folder, get a nice crisp edge on each of these, liquid glue to seal it shut. And then on our little flap of our mailbox, we'll add liquid glue. And we're gonna add our heart onto the envelope flap. And then all we have to do is add our little flag onto our mailbox to kind of complete this part of the look. Now, when we die cut out that border, it gave us two, so it's one piece that I use one border die and it gave us the two pieces. So I'm gonna take my red cardstock and pick up the border on one side and then repeat that on the other side. Once those are good and sealed on there, then we're just gonna trim off the excess with our scissors and it's gonna line up perfect. All right, we've got that part done. Next up, we are ready to start putting our card together. So I'm gonna go with the basic white card base, fold it in half, and once again, use our bone folder, get a nice crisp edge, and then we're gonna play with some more pattern paper. So I'm gonna stick pattern paper onto pattern paper and then onto our card base. I love the way these patterns look together. I think it's just super cute. I love having the hearts with the plaid background. It's adorable. Now for a full list of the supplies, make sure to check out my description with this video and it'll have it all for you. All right, we're gonna add our little post for our mailbox, add our mailbox. And remember, we didn't seal up that mailbox. So we're able to take our envelope and tuck it inside. And we're ready to move on to the next part, which is gonna be our sentiment. So for our sentiment, I went through and I just decided to cut it on an angle. And then I'm gonna go through, trim it down, make it a little shorter. And then we're gonna trim on the same angle on the other side. We'll use dimensionals to add this to our card, and then we have one finishing touch left. I'm gonna use a rhinestone right in the middle of our cute little flag holder there, and we are done. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and follow I Teach Stamping for more ideas and inspiration.